All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skelligan? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the ML. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Galban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet she spurned him. <clears throat> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. The Sunstone's in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven once. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Emir's mages, of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Emir has planned for her once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, Show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised, and what he'll get in return. I'm off. 
Good luck. Branded for our son, sure did bear a hate race. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An on crate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. Seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him. Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Respect, Witcher. I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to hate the Black Ones? I'd sooner hate the rights of bleeding Moorhawk than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him!
should not stay here. Move. That's enough. Wait, wait. This one's really funny. What's the difference between a built guardian? Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kaer Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! An agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Krak's will, or failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You'll become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the Pearl Divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlow. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Ah, uh, gods protect us.
Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Hermion. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Caertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. But what you exactly... <laughs> Either. in a dungeon, pale face. It's clearing up.
Behold! It's the Witcher! Emperor's orders! Stand down! Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. You're insolent, because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her Dimeritian shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We can take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. Despise teleports, but have it your way. Let's go. Fringilla Vigo. Philip, a pleasure as always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must speak. Oh my. Perhaps you should talk to him after all. What would be the point? Surely none now. And later? Don't count your father out just because he's the world's richest and most powerful. Authoritarian rotter unworthy of even one inch of trust. Actually, of all people, I believe you can trust him. Perhaps you even should. What about the dictatorial rotter part? Something to get used to. Yes, Geralt? You look good. For a captive of Emir, is that what you mean? Seems like he's shown you surprising leniency. No interrogations, no torture. Or did you just tell him everything he wanted to know? If I'd told him everything, he'd hardly still need me alive, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we shan't speak of it. I and what concerns me have not been a concern of yours for some time now. So long. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalok's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalok mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. 
Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikerog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the Sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there. Just wonderful. I see, look at this. Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damned thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. Witcher. to muck about in this carrion now. We came here for a reason. Hmm. So how do we get up the... The stairs? I'll fix them right away. Notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Siri, I think. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Siri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a five sum, there's clearly no room.
say? Look at this. What now? It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Ugh. In blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlan of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? Yennefer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in the matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her. So once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Redania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I, I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Emir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. This deal with Emir. It's sorcerous business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position, beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion. A ridiculous bauble. Don't make me laugh. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Watch this. Arahan Luma! Uh -huh. That means the sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors.
Last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. You're like Nilfgaard, no two ways about it. I recommend the fresh alpine air of Nazair. <laughs> and Yennefer claims you have no sense of humor. Now listen carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic, but perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. Any other words of wisdom, or can we go? You may go. I know you have things to do. I can find my own way back.
shit. A witcher? Maybe Lars is bring some hair hides back from the hunt? I could make me some moss. And I could use a fat.